Hey there tech fans, Rick here again with another review, and today I have the Blink Outdoor Camera System. This product allows you to very easily monitor any area, both inside and outside of your home. It will operate for about two years on a fresh set of lithium batteries, or you can use an optional solar panel for longer operation with nothing more than sunlight. It connects over Wi-Fi so it's totally wireless, and it will capture crisp 1080p images and video of anything that walks in front of the camera. It's totally weatherproof as well, which means you can mount it anywhere outside your home, whether that's the side of a building, a pole in your backyard, or clamp to a tree branch to keep an eye on those pesky chipmunks that are out in your backyard. It provides two-way audio, so you can talk to whoever or whatever is outside your home, whether you're chasing away a burglar or scaring a deer off your patio. And any video or pictures that are recorded can be uploaded to the cloud for later review or stored locally in the Sync 2 module. You can even set up custom motion zones so it only triggers in a particular area in your backyard. And finally, the product also is Alexa enabled. So if you have one of the new smart speakers with a screen, you can actually view the video on there. You can do a live feed. You can also view it on your phone. Now, as part of this review, I always like to start with an unboxing of the product because I want to show you everything that comes with the kit. And what I've got here is actually the starter kit because it includes the sync module. Now, normally, once you put a sync module in your system, you can add 10 cameras up to that sync module. So the first one you buy will have a sync module and a camera. But from then on, you can buy extra cameras and again, add up to 10 of them on a single sync module. But I thought I'd review the entire kit. The next thing I'm going to tell you are five reasons why I think you're going to fall in love with this camera. Now, I've been using these for about a year, year and a half, and I just love them. I love the mobility of the camera. I love the crisp images it sends back. I like the flexibility of putting it anywhere I need to, inside or outside the home. So if we're going on vacation, I'll set it up in an area where the pets are, where my kids are coming in so I can keep an eye on it, and I can pick it up and move it anywhere I need it. But I'll do the uh, unboxing first, and then I'll come back and take a closer look at all the components and explain pretty much how they work and show you all the connections and plugs and all that type of thing. And then I'll come back at the end, and I'll give you those five reasons why I think you're going to fall in love with this particular product. So let's get started with the unboxing. There's really two sections to the unboxing. There's the camera system and the Sync, Sync 2 module. So with the camera system, you'll find the Blink Outdoor camera, which is a nice little package, again, totally weatherproof. It comes with what they call a volcano mount. This gets bolted to the side of the house, and it's got this really flexible stem right here that can move around. And that snaps into the back of the camera, so you can position it anywhere you need to. If you need more of an angle down, they also include this product, which is a tool that allows you to take the back of the camera off so you can put the batteries in. It also clips onto here, like this, and allows you to adjust the camera a little further down. So if you're trying to cover an area with a walkway in your backyard, you want to look down a little further, that'll allow you to do it. And it also comes with a set of batteries, which I think is really nice. So you've got fresh lithium batteries. The day you open up the box, you can use the product. And honestly, to set this thing up, it's about 10 minutes worth of work. So very nice little system. Also included are mounting uh, gear that you can use to mount this to a wall. And they even include sleeves here in case you're going to drill it into concrete. So they give you pretty much everything you need to mount the camera and use it the day you open up the box. Now the sync module is needed to connect to your network. So the camera connects to the sync module, the sync module connects to your Wi-Fi, and I think that's an advantage. I'll talk about that a little bit at the end, but I like the fact that this kind of can handle 10 cameras and they're not all individually connecting to my Wi-Fi network, they're just connecting to the sync module. So you'll get the sync module, and I'll show you that in better detail in a minute. You get a charging cable for the sync module. It's got a micro USB on this end and a full-size USB-A here, as well as a charging brick. So you plug this into the wall, connect the cable up between the charging brick and the sync module, and that's all the power you'll need. There are also two manuals in the kit, one for the sync module that explains how to use that and how to connect it, and one for the camera. And that's pretty much it for the unboxing. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at all of the main components in the kit, and then I'll come back and give you five reasons that I love this camera system. I think they've done a phenomenal job, and, and again, I'm really excited to talk about it because I've tested a lot of cameras, and I really, really like this Blink system. Inside the starter kit, you'll find two sets of components, the Blink Sync Module 2 and its accessories, and the Blink Outdoor Camera and its accessories. And I'll start with the Sync Module. To use these cameras, you'll need at least one of these Blink Sync modules connected to your network because this connects to your Wi-Fi and your camera connects to the Blink Sync module. These cameras can't connect directly to your Wi-Fi network. They have to come through a Sync module. And the Sync module takes responsibility for consolidating and coordinating up to 10 cameras for each of the Sync modules. So the starter kit includes the Sync module in your first camera. As you decide to add more cameras, either indoor or outdoor, you'll buy just the camera. It'll tie directly into the Sync module up to a total of 10. When you buy your 11th camera, you'll need another Sync module and it's easy to add to your network. Now with the Sync module, 
You'll find it includes a 5 volt DC 1 amp power supply. You can plug this into any standard wall outlet. The other side is a USB-A port on it that's used with the included cable. The cable has a USB-A connector on one end and a micro USB connection on the other end. This plugs into the charger, this plugs into the sync module. Now one trick you can try, a lot of times this is located pretty close to your router or some other component, and you might find an open USB-A port on the back of that router. You can certainly plug this right into your router and plug this into your sync module and eliminate the power supply. So totally up to you. It doesn't require a lot of current to run. Now the sync module itself has got a high impact plastic case which makes it really durable, really lightweight, easy to locate it pretty much anywhere. On the surface you'll find two LEDs, power and network. When you add power to the unit it starts an internal power on self-test where it's checking all the electronics just to make sure everything's working okay. When it passes that test it'll light that LED letting you know the module's ready to use. The network LED above it will come on once this is connected and configured in your network and the network LED will blink during operation. On the front of the unit, you'll find a micro USB port, and that's where the other end of that power cable plugs in. On the side, you'll find another USB-A port. That can be used with an external thumb drive. And what normally happens is, if you have a subscription for the Blink system, any video or picture you take will be uploaded to the cloud. And then once nightly, if you have a USB uh, thumb drive plugged in here, all of those will be backed up to that thumb drive, and that's handy because you can pull it out and put it in your computer and view those videos. If you don't have a subscription, all the videos and pictures are directly stored on that thumb drive, which again makes it really easy to view those on your computer. To the right of that is a reset button. You can use a paper clip very gently, poke in there, and you'll touch that button and reset the module if you need to. That's pretty much it for the sync module. Now, as far as the camera goes, you'll find that the kit includes a mount, and they call this a volcano mount for obvious reasons. It looks like a little miniature volcano, and there's two holes right here that can be used to mount this to the wall or to a pole or pretty much anywhere you need to mount it, but there's a wide variety of mounting options out there that don't require you to drill holes. So, for example, you can attach this to a clamp and then use that clamp to clamp it to a, a tree or a pole or something like that. There are siding hooks you can use that slide underneath the side of your vinyl siding and allow you to put this on your siding without drilling holes. So how you mount it is your choice, but I like the fact that they include screws and sleeves if you have to mount this in wood or mount it in concrete. And it gives you a lot of adjustments. So you can snap the camera on the end here and move it around as you need to to capture exactly the area you want to be able to you know, monitor. If you can't spin it down far enough or you can't mount it, mount it so it's pointing exactly where you need it, they also include this really cool tool. So it's, it's a double duty tool and actual mount. So you can snap it on here and snap the camera on here and that gives you a lot more range of motion to sort of point it where you need it. But it's also a tool that will help you take the back off the unit to change the batteries. Now the unit itself has got a lot going on here on the front. Some of it is pretty hidden so I'll go through it. This big window up top is the motion detection. So that's where it's looking for motion in that field of view. So when you set up your motion zones, this will be looking for any kind of movement through that area. That's the camera in the center. That's pretty obvious. On the left-hand side, there's a light and you have control whether that turns on or off. But if it senses motion, that light will come on letting you know that it's currently recording. On the right is the microphone. There's a little dot right there. That's the microphone. Below that is infrared night vision illuminators. So this unit can see in the dark, but it has an infrared illuminator that actually throws infrared light out in front of the camera to help illuminate things and give it a brighter view. Down the bottom, you'll find a speaker right there. So when you're having the two-way communications, you'll pick up whoever's voice is talking through the microphone and they'll hear you through that speaker. Now on the rear, there are two grommets. The top one exposes the screw that you'll need to take out to pull the back off. The bottom one exposes a micro USB port on the bottom there. And that's used for maybe an external solar panel or some kind of external battery pack that you'll plug in to extend the life. Now to take the back off, again, that's where the tool comes in handy. It looks like a little screwdriver. You can certainly use a dime on there as well if you want. Um, and what you'll do is just undo this screw in here until it spins all the way out and you'll feel it get loose. And once it's loose, then you can just peel the back off. It comes off pretty easy, just like that. Then inside there, there are two slots for batteries. Now, it's important you use lithium batteries. Don't use alkaline. Don't use rechargeable. They have to be lithium batteries. Or if you're going to snap a battery pack on, make sure it's a certified battery pack to work with the Blink products. But two batteries go in there. And there's the micro USB port I was talking about. If you're going to use an external solar panel, you'll probably pull this grommet off because the cable coming from the solar panel will have a grommet on it that'll integrate right there. So when you put the two batteries in, just put the back on like this. Let me put this little grommet back in real quick. And then you can tighten that bolt back up or that screw back up using the tool. And then I'll show you how the mount goes on. Now, the mount is a little unsettling. And what I mean by that is the mount itself takes a lot of pressure to put it on because the only thing holding this on the mount is the friction from the mount plugging in there. So if you're going to use the mount, you're not going to set it like on a, on a bench or something to look at some chipmunks or on a wall. Make sure that grommet comes out. 
and then you'll snap this mount right here in the circle and you really have to push this and it'll feel like you're cracking the camera but you really have to give it the old college trial and you hear it snapping like that and that's not going anywhere and really the only thing holding it on that mount is the friction but the camera's so light it's not actually going to pop off there and you can see you've got a lot of adjustment with the mount as it is but again if you need more adjustment going down and you can't mount this as sort of an angle you can use this to increase that that downward motion if you need to to get a better look at whatever area you're trying to protect and that's pretty much it for the kit I hope that closer look was helpful. Now here are five reasons I think you're gonna fall in love with the Blink Outdoor camera system. The first has to do with its weatherproof capabilities. This camera is totally weatherproof. When you take this thing apart and pop the batteries in, you've actually gotta screw that back in nice and tight, but there's a nice weather seal around that back, so no water's gonna get in there. They also have two grommets on here that prevent water from getting inside as well. And I've used this through a full season of torrential rain, blizzards, all kinds of snow has come down. I've had this low enough on my backyard. I had it sitting on a wall. It actually got buried in snow. So I was looking at it for a while with nothing but white. And as the snow melted, I could see my backyard again. But the weatherproof aspects of it are really important because a lot of the cameras that are outdoor cameras are not that weatherproof. And they recommend you mount them under an eave so they're protected from rain or not directly out in, you know, in open, open space. Is. With this one, you can pretty much put it anywhere, and there are so many mounts available that allow you to clip it to the side of your house without drilling holes. There are clamp mounts. You can clamp it to a pole or to a fence. So there's a lot of ways to actually mount this outside. So the weatherproof aspects of it, for me, have really been proven out over the last year. The next thing I like about it is the fact that it's totally wireless and it runs on batteries and connects over Wi-Fi, which means I can put it anywhere I need to in my property, both inside and outside my home. So if we're going on vacation and I want to keep an eye on a particular room or the front hallway, I can set this up on a bookshelf and have it look at the front hallway. As long as it connects to my Wi-Fi network, I can move it wherever I need to and still monitor that particular area. It's beautiful outside too, because I use a couple of clamps with these. We get a lot of deer in the backyard in the springtime. I love watching those deer out there walking around eating the grass. I've got chipmunks in the back. So I'll clamp this to a tree branch in that area of the backyard and I'll get some really nice footage of the deer and the chipmunks back there. The next thing I like about it is the sync module. I mentioned that initially. The sync module allows you to consolidate 10 cameras into one connection, one Wi-Fi connection. And that's important because with all these new automated products coming out for home automations and cameras and smart switches and all the rest of it, you're going to run out of uh, IP addresses on your network and you've got to keep track of each of those individually. A lot of these cameras connect directly to your Wi-Fi network and that means you've got to give up an address to connect it. I like the fact that one sync module connects to my network and can support 10 cameras. So as I buy new cameras, I basically just add them to the sync module and they're up and running in less than five minutes. That's a major advantage. The next thing is the motion zones. A lot of the cameras out there have what they'll call motion detection, but it's a very broad motion detection. And a lot of times you'll find a leaf go through or a dog go through and they're setting them off all the time. If you've got it in the front yard, maybe a car going by will set it off and you're gonna record a lot of stuff you really don't care about. This one allows you to very discreetly discreetly, I mean, set up a very specific zone, you can actually dial this in to be exactly what you need. So if it's just a pathway, you can dial it in, just cover the pathway. It'll ignore motion on either side of the pathway. Or if you're protecting a driveway, maybe just the area where the cars are are important to you. So focus in on that area. So the adjustable motion zones is a real big benefit. I also love the fact that it's Amazon Alexa enabled because we have a lot of smart speakers with screens around the house. I can be in my office. If somebody's on the front porch dropping off a package, I can speak to that speaker and say, show me the front porch. It'll bring up the image of the camera and I can see exactly what's going on out there. So that's a major convenience as well. I guess in general, I like it a lot because the system just works. A lot of these outdoor cameras, a lot of these Wi-Fi connected cameras are very complicated to get working. The applications are confusing. There's all kinds of complicated configuration settings. This one is incredibly simple to set up. Once you add this to your network, it finds the camera, the camera connects to the sync module, and you're streaming video. It really is just that simple. And the fact that it runs for two years on batteries is another big benefit for me. I like the fact that I can plug it in with a couple of batteries, not have to worry about it for quite a bit of time. Now, of course, you're not gonna get two years out of it if you increase the resolution of the video or you record longer clips, or there's a lot of motion through because there's only so many electrons in the batteries, and the more you're using it, the faster you're gonna use the batteries. But if you've located this in an area where there's high traffic or you're recording longer clips, consider looking into a solar panel that you can bolt to a wall or a tree and, and have unlimited power to, to power your camera. So all those things being equal, I think this is a perfect system pretty much for any scenario where you need to monitor an area, again, inside or outside your home. And I think they've done a great job putting a complete kit together. So that's pretty much all I had for today. I hope you found this video helpful. And until next time, thanks for watching <laughs> and stay nerdy.